Hello everyone, it's Koneko here and today's video is going to be about what I got during Boxing Day week sales. Before I get into the video, if you are new here and you haven't already, please consider becoming a part of this magical and pastel online family by clicking the subscription button down below. I'm here in Canada, Boxing Day, everything is closed. At least in Atlanta, Canada, I am aware that in different parts of Canada, Boxing Day is you go straight out and you go to the shops and you buy all the things. But not here. One of the first items I picked up from Costco was this water bottle. Now, if you know Costco and you know Costco water bottles, there likely was not just one. There were two in the package, this teal one and then a gray one. They are both glass, they have a lock mechanism on the side, and you pop it to open it, and as you're drinking, this has a little rubber band on it, so it won't fall forward unless you push it forward. And it's a little bit heavier than what I'm used to, but it's glass, and it is oftentimes better to use glass than plastic. And it also has this here, which I'm not sure if you can undo this part to like clip it on or not. The gray one I actually brought over and left at my grandparents as I do visit here and there and especially if I get called into work up by them. This outer part here is rubbery and I believe it just slides off when you wanna wash it and yeah. The next item is also from Costco and I haven't had one in I don't know how long, but it's a blow dryer. So with my hair, blow drying it is kind of a pain in the butt unless I'm going to style it right away because my hair gets really puffy when you try to blow dry it. You can probably tell it's quite curly down here. I do often kind of flatten this part to keep some of like the baby hairs and stuff down. But yeah, I haven't had one in a while and I kind of wanted to pick one up for when I did want to style my hair and especially when I wash my hair and I want to wear wigs, I can't really do so until it dries and it takes forever to air dry because I have so much of it. So I thought that this and I have like a good brush that I can use with it and even like flatten it a little bit with the flat iron. So I don't like going directly with the flat iron with wet hair even though apparently you can with the straightener I have. Anyway, so I figured this would help speed up the drying process, especially when I want to get photos or videos or whatever done that involve wigs. So that's kind of the primary reason that I picked this up. Next up, I actually got this item today. I have been fiddling around with it and I might talk about it more in depth in another video because I feel like I have quite a lot to, to say about this item or I may have a lot to say after I've used it for a few days and that is because it is the Google Pixel 2 phone. So both John and I upgraded our phones today to this phone. He got it in black, I got it in white, I kind of wanted to stay kind of pastel and why I might do a separate video of kind of talking more and more about it is because I've had an Apple iPhone for the longest time. New phone, old phone, not too much of a size difference and I'm very interested in seeing the quality difference and again in a separate video I could get more into why I'm making the switch from Apple to Android or Google. Is that the same thing? I don't even know. I have a lot to figure out still. So if you are interested, I I think that I might make this video, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I can answer them hopefully in the other video. Moving on to books, I 
Don't know if you saw my uh, Canadian dollar store haul video and I picked up a cheap um, 2018 planner and I, I knew even when I picked that one up that I wanted to look for a better quality one, a nicer one. And so I picked up this 2018 monthly planner and it actually started in August 2017. So, um, but it was on sale as you know, a few of the months are kind of already over, but it does go all the way up until December 2018. So that's why I still got it because I'm still gonna get my full year's worth in and I have been able to put in a few things. So December 2017, I just kind of crossed out days and I had a few things down here to write. I'll start with the first books I got from Chapters as I went back for more books. They are both Harry Potter related. This book right here is Quidditch Through the Ages, which is the only one I didn't have from this little side series that is out. It's not really a series, it's like, they're like little information books. So at Chapters, when I picked this one up, there was a book set of the three, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So it actually just talks about the different fantastical beasts in Harry Potter and where they're located, where you can find them, just like a bunch of information. And I already had that book. And then the second book, I also, already have and it is Tales of Beetle the Bard. The only one from the three book set that I didn't have was Quidditch Through the Ages and I'm not picky with hardcover, soft covered, so this is soft covered which made it cheaper. The three book set was definitely all hardcover but it was quite pricey. But yeah, so super cool. I love how it's blue and like gold and conveniently, I love how the other book I picked up is like shades of blue with hints of gold. So this book here is um, Harry Potter, A Journey Through a History of Magic. So it just goes through and kind of talks about different things, uh, a snake ch charmer, I saw Trolls, the Red Eyes, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Tea Leaves. So it goes through different elements, different people, astronomy, all things really magically related to the Harry Potter series. I love anything Harry Potter, magic, witches. I just love all of that stuff. So this is a really great book. Again, it is a soft cover. All right, one more book and one more book set before we move on to the clothing items. The first book that I picked up is A Passion, Dark and Drowning. And if you keep up with any of my social medias or like a past vlog or whatever, I had been reading A Shadow Bright and Burning and I finished it and I didn't realize there was others to this series. I didn't really know much about it at all, but I saw this at Chapters and I was like, I, I, I need it. <laughs> the final set of books that I would like to share with you are the Mortal Instruments. <laughs> I was going to just pick up the first book in this series to read it and see if I enjoyed reading it as, these books are heavy, I'm gonna set them down, as I Loved the Mortal Instruments movies. I love the TV show, The Shadow Hunters, like a lot. Like, I think they're really great. <laughs> I never really started the book series because I was like, well, I already kind of know what happens, at least a little bit at the beginning because I watched the movie and then the show came out and I was like, I'm kind of getting to know what's going on in the series because of the show which was kind of naive thinking of me because I really do love books. A New Year's resolution of mine is to read more books. And so I saw this box set at Chapters and it was on sale for like half off or something. And so here we are today. I'm not gonna go into too much detail of my 
books because I was thinking of making some videos here and there, whether it's just more convenient or better in a vlog or its own like little series or videos or something. I really love books. I want to read more books. If I make videos about books, I think I'm likely to end up reading more books so that I could talk about these books. If you are interested in seeing the types of books I'm reading, what I think about books, if I should make videos about some books, like I have quite a few books. I could, you know, do a mini book collection video. I haven't done a collection video in a while. If you are interested in any of that or any of the things that I've talked about so far, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm very curious. I'd love to share my books. I probably will. But now for the last little bit is the clothing items. I am wearing a hoodie that I got from Ardeen's. I don't know why I always question the pronunciation of that store, but I do. This sweater is actually an extra small. I don't know why I got an extra small. I usually get a small, if anything, but it fits fine. It's a little snug, but there's nothing wrong with that. I was trying out a new color. I don't really have much that's this tone of pink, and I'm really liking it so far. I think it goes okay with my hair and skin. I'm used to wearing, surprisingly, a lot of black. So I do have quite a few darker items that I would like to show you. The next two items are sweaters and I actually got them from Costco. It is cold in Canada. And all I thought about for this item was how soft and warm it was and how it was like wearing a blanket and I have two of them. I got a burgundy one forever ago and this one is clearly black. It is super soft, it is zip up, it doesn't have a hood, but it has a high collar to keep it close around your neck. It is quite long too. Uh, the pockets are deep and zip up and super handy. Black goes nice with everything. I got the black in a size small, so it was a bit more form fitting where the burgundy one I own is a medium so that I could have like this sweater and then put that sweater over it and it would fit because a medium and the next sweater from Costco is actually in the men's section but I am obsessed with Adidas so it is this Adidas hoodie sweater this one isn't as thick and probably not as warm but it's very sporty my favorite thing about Adidas is the stripes and it is a men's and it is size small, I believe. Yeah, it's size small, so it is a little bit baggy on me, but it's got some nice pockets. I love it. Sears is closing down, and I don't really get things from Sears very often. Never really cared for Sears. Always thought it was overpriced. They had a lot of sales going on. It's some decent sales. And I saw this t-shirt and I was like, okay, adding more white to my life and also moon and stars with that little bit of gold or bronze or whatever in there. And it says when night comes on the top. And then so it's kind of like a dream catcher thing going on and you know has moon and star with like the faces and the wooden detail is amazing and there's like a key down here and some feathers very allergic to real feathers but gotta love you know beautiful detailed feather pattern and the last two clothing items I got from H&M. The first item is this super cute skirt. It is long enough that I can wear it to work and still be appropriate, but also cute and fashionable with some leggings or tights under it. It has a zipper down the back here, which I love as well, and I just really love this skirt. I really love this flowery pattern. I just love the way the flow flowers pop off of this black background and I think it'll fit a lot of my little 
fashion outfits as well as for work. And the last clothing item is this kind of like a jean material, sort of. It's sort of a hoodie, but not quite a sweater shirt thing. Size two, cause you know, it's H&M. And it is quite long. It is button up, long sleeves with some buttons on the sleeve as well. Quite dark. What really drew me to this was on the hood. There is a few roses and it says rose between thorns. So I just really love this. Really fits in with my darker styles. And I mean, I didn't really mention it, but it's really handy. At Costco, we got this collapsible. So that is everything that I got during the Boxing Day sales that have been going on. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you like this type of video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!